Hello and welcome to Spear Force. It is my anniversary and yes, I am out in the cold and it's an early morning and every anniversary of mine, I um, open up to you about my channel. I open up about my statistics and my analytics. I am going to talk a little bit about what I make on YouTube. Um, it's kind of what I do every year um, since I've had my channel. And just so if you don't know what my channel is about, I'm an outdoor camping vlog. I backpack. I talk about tents. That's kind of what my channel is. And this next year is going to be a little bit of uh, building a cabin too. And I say a little bit. It's probably going to be a lot of building a cabin as well. Um, but I kind of take you along my journey um, through my videos. And so let's go. Let's dive into some of the the points that that I'd like to make about being a YouTuber. Um, what I'd like to talk about first is more of the emotional side of being on YouTube, um, and then we'll talk at the end um, about the actual numbers that um, that I have. You know, like for example, how many views I have, how many um, subscribers I have, and such. So there's an emotional side to vlogging on YouTube, I feel, because you're opening up, you know, you're opening up your, yourself and your, your struggles, and then you get comments on it. And so there's, um, there's that emotional side. And I think if any YouTuber out there that's a vlogger type, if they say that they're never... Um, never feel emotion regarding the, the comments, either they're not reading the comments, um, but I, I think they're, that they're lying because there is an emotional side to being on YouTube because you are opening up your life and you're opening up your struggles on YouTube. Um, I love my comments. I really do. Like when I post a video, I usually look within an hour of posting a video, see what comments I got, you know, um, I, I have heard stories, like people have written stories to me about their life and they have opened up too. And I read every comment. Um, I'm not able to comment on every comment, but I do read every comment. Oh, sorry if it's really windy. It's a, it's a really windy area. Ooh, it's chilly outside. I have to do an outside video since I'm on an outside channel. And, but why did I start my channel in January? <laughs> because it's cold it's really cold okay so um there's some there's some comments that i got that where i ended up crying you know um and there's other comments where um i was offended you know and other comments i'm like wow wow like some really deep um written comments from some from some people and it's just it's amazing um that not only am I opening up, but the people in my comments are opening up too, and I think it's really great. And I get a lot of warm fuzzies on YouTube. I say the majority of my comments are, are good comments. Um, I do get some of those that aren't. Okay, let's talk about some of the good things of being on YouTube and some of the bad things of being on YouTube in regards to emotion. Um, some of the good things of being on YouTube is that I have gathered so many friends you know, brand new friends. And I have a, I have a best friend now, you know, and it, it's like, it's, it's beautiful. And it's a community of people, um, that are on YouTube, whether it be another YouTuber as well. And when I first started watching YouTube, I never thought that, you know, I'd really connect with anyone because I never, I only watch YouTube just to watch tutorials, but now I watch the vloggers and, uh, they're fun. And it's like, you really do connect with these people. Um, some other things is that some people are offering to help. Like I've had people reach out to me and say, I want to help you, whether in a financial way or buying gear, they want to help me. And I would have never thought that on YouTube. Um, and again, for those of you that are uh, patrons, I, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. It does help out my channel a lot. Um, letters. I get letters in the mail that are like, five pages long you know I get I got a uh, a bio from somebody that was a book long and I ended up reading it when I was right before I go to bed and such um, it's I'm doing a lot of this stuff a lot of what I do I do alone and it's just kind of nice to feel like I'm not alone 
you know, and by videoing this, even if I don't post it, I'm talking to a camera. It's like, I feel like I'm talking to someone and I'm not alone, you know, and it's just super nice to have somebody around. Um, and that is you and you're listening as I go on a lot of these solo adventures. Being an outdoor woman and opening up on YouTube and being um, in a sport that I think is more male dominated, um, a sport of camping and hiking and backpacking. Um, and that's just how I feel. I feel that I, I get some people that um, don't agree with what I'm doing. And I know that actually, um, I get the comments, you know. Um, I do, and this is, uh, this is more talking about some of the, the bad things about being on YouTube, you know, is that I get a lot of opinions about what I'm doing wrong. Um, I've survived. I've survived every trip that I have done. So, um, but I've messed up. Like I forgot certain um, pieces of gear when I go out or um, I was too cold or I didn't have the right gear or, you know, but I'm learning and I'm taking you along with it and I'm sharing that. Um, I've had some people on my channel, I've, I've been given a donation um, to my channel and I had somebody ask for the donation back because um, I wouldn't date them. You, you know, so it's like I'm getting, it's, it, it goes all over. Um, I have been offended only by two comments this year, which is not bad. You know, it's only two comments to be offended by and I'm going to talk about those two comments that I got. Um, I do get the comments that are, you know, talking about my body parts and what they want to do and stuff, you know. Those don't offend me because I just block them. I don't really care, you know. <laughs> you know, like, I'm like whatever. I kind of actually laugh at it, you know, like, what's this guy or girl uh, expecting from me by making that kind of comment? <laughs> you know, I, I don't get it. Um, but I, I want to talk about the two comments that did affect me this year as... Um, Previous years, I haven't had that many that affected me, and, and this year I had some that, that did affect me. The first com both the comments are from women, not from men, they're from women. Um, the first comment that I was offended by was a woman that said that I am neglecting my children by being um, in the wilderness and being away from them, and I need to be home with my children because that's where I belong. Um... <sighs> It still affects me today. I, I, I just don't like that. You know, I don't, I don't like it when people make comments and they don't know the whole story. You know, I don't know if she knew that I'm divorced. I'm a single mom and I have my kids every other weekend. And I don't know if, if she knows that if I could have my kids 100% of the time, I would, you know, um, it's just, it, it's, it's the, and I guess, I don't know how to say it because I'm trying to be nice back, you know, I'm trying to be nice back, but it's like some people will make comments and they don't know my story, you know. I would say that Spirit Forest is about 15% of my time um, and that's it, you know, and so she doesn't see that it took me I don't know, was that a year or so of stop crying because I couldn't have my kids around me because I had to share them and that I wasn't able to be with them every day when they got off the school bus. Like, she doesn't know this. Like, maybe she's not divorced and maybe she's not a single mom and, you know, um, yeah, I can be out here and I can be in a tent and, and do all this, but honestly, if I could have my kids full time, I just... I would have them with me. <laughs> Maybe not on winter camping, but um, I'd have them with me. And uh, she just doesn't know that. She doesn't know the struggles that I've been through and uh, how it feels for me not to be home when they get off the school bus. Like, it took me a year. I was crying, you know? Like, it, it was really tough. And uh, to be honest, I had the kids 80% of the time. You know, um, currently right now we have switched our parenting schedule. Not that I want to get into that, but um, I have switched my parenting schedule to 50-50. But at the time of the comment, I had my kids 80% of the time. And uh, I think it's important for them to be with their dad too. 
And uh, I don't want to get into that anymore because I can see myself getting emotional about that because I was offended that someone would make that kind of comment. But yet, I know she probably just didn't know the story and maybe I was emotional that day or I don't know what it was um, because I get plenty of comments telling me I'm, I'm an idiot and all this kind of stuff. And <laughs> I blow those off like, no, I was like, I don't care, you know, but that comment affected me. Okay, so the next comment is a comment... Um, from a subscriber of mine that I, I know she used to comment a lot of my videos. She doesn't comment anymore. I think she unsubscribed. But uh, she used to comment a lot of my videos, almost every video, and I kind of knew who she was um, just because I saw her comments on every video. Uh, she does, Yeah, she doesn't comment anymore, so I don't think that she's watching. And the fact that, actually, I wrote it down because I have a cheat sheet here. I uh, wrote it down that um, my channel, and I'm just summarizing right now, my channel is about how many guys I can attract and that I'm looking pretty desperate. And I was offended by that. Because, well, first of all, like, I don't have any makeup on right now. Like, I'm wearing, like, six layers. <laughs> I look pregnant, you know. Like, how is it that I'm attracting men? You know, um, it was on a video, though, that I did do a dance. I, I did a dance on the video. I was celebrating um, another year at the tent, and every year I've been doing a little dance um, at the last day. And uh, the way that I dance, um, she doesn't like it. And that's just the way I dance. I mean, if you know me and my girlfriend know me, they, they know that that's just the way I dance. That's just the way it is. And... Uh, she felt that I was just trying to attract men, and uh, I am in no uh, no effort to try to find a man through my YouTube channel. That is not what I'm trying to do, and I do not feel that I'm desperate. I think I mentioned multiple times that I would like a man in my life, but um, I don't need one, and I'm not um, so desperate that I'd be going on YouTube doing a dance just to attract a man to ask me on a date. You know, um, I think that my entire time of having a YouTube channel, I've been asked on a date by viewers, t by two people. And, uh, and one of them asked for his money back. <laughs> it's just not my thing. I don't, I don't know. Okay, so let me see. I, wrote, I have a whole bunch of cheat sheet. I think that might be everything in regards to, yes, let's go into some analytics Let's talk about the, uh, the views and such that I get on my channel. Well, yeah, I changed. I changed the location. I am actually in the process of editing this video, which you could see it behind me. And I just decided that I was going to just bring out my camera and redo this part. And this is mostly the analytics side of YouTube. Uh, the subscriber count, the view count, how much I make on YouTube, um, that kind of stuff. I just decided without having all the wind around me and the, and the weather and, and stuff that I would just do this part of it in my office. And uh, so this is where the magic happens, right here. Um, I just sit here at the desk or a lot of times it's, it's actually in my bed. <laughs> because I usually will edit right before I go to bed. But let's get into the analytics. The, the first part I want to talk about is I think that YouTube, and I'm just being 100% honest, you know, I think that YouTube really pushes subscriber count way too much. If you notice, I don't show my subscriber count on my YouTube channel because I don't feel that that's what my channel is about. Yes, I ask for subscriber counts and I ask for people to like and people to comment and all that kind of stuff. That's part of being a YouTuber and it helps in getting my videos indexed in that whole YouTube search engine. But I do this for fun and I don't want it to be, I don't want it to be a job. Um, the reason why I ask for a subscriber count and stuff is that the larger you get on a subscriber count, the more benefits you get. So like I can get memberships, I can get other type of features that YouTube will release to people with larger channels. And, and again, I, I think they really push it a little bit too much. Um, 
I'm doing it for fun. It's it's not and it's something that I, I spend a lot of time on. Um, I do make some money on it, and we are going to go over that here soon. Um, there's Rocky. Do you hear him? <laughs> oh, little Rocky, you see his face right there. <laughs> he wants to get in the video. Okay, go, go lay down. Go lay down. Um, okay, where was I? Okay, I do have it on a piece of paper, all my stuff. So if you look, see me looking down, it's only because I want to make sure my numbers are correct. Um, you can log into YouTube and you log into the back end as a um, creator and you can see all of these analytics when you log in. And to me, it's really overwhelming. It's demotivating for me. I don't want to see it. And long time ago, YouTube had it where you can actually put what you want on the page. Now they're forcing and they're spitting out that, you, that subscriber count. They're telling you, um, your views went up, your views went down, this video is not doing well, this video could be doing better, this video, and it's just like, it's really, for me, it's stressful. Like, I just want to just put up videos, <laughs> you know, like, I don't want to see all the analytics because that's what makes it a job. And that's what I do as a job is I look at analytics all the time um, and I want to see what users are doing. That's part of my job. I'm a, I'm basically a web designer. And I don't want to do this for my my hobby, my side my side thing. I wanted to go over my subscriber count. So let's just get that out of the way because I know that's what you're looking for, is what my subscriber count is. It is 25,600 something, you know, give or take some. Um, and, oh no. Oh my goodness unedited video here. <laughs> Rocky just threw up. So I gotta, I, I gotta handle that. Sorry about the, the, the cut there. And now I don't remember where I was and I didn't, I didn't replay the video. So we're just going to start back at how many subscribers I have, which I think I told you the number 25,600 ish is where I'm at. Oh, if you don't know who Rocky is, he's my 120 pound Rottweiler. Anyways, he's a lot of work. He's a big baby. I know when I post certain videos that they're not going to go well, you know, and I'm going to lose subscribers because again, YouTube will tell me, oh, you lost a lot of subscribers this week or you're not really doing well this week. And, and it's so demotivating when they do that. I really don't like that. I, I don't want to see any of those analytics. If I post a video of my kids, my, my, and my daughters, and me doing something or just my daughters doing something I will lose subscribers and I will give you an example of that I posted a video this year for 4th of July and we were sitting at my deck next to my tent and uh, Madison was singing the national anthem and I lost 25 subscribers that day that is my worst rated video of all my videos last year was of Madison singing the national anthem and us wishing everyone a happy 4th of July. And I don't think her voice is bad. I really, I don't think that's it. So Madison, if you're watching this, this is nothing about you. I just think that um, when I have my kids in the videos, I do get people unsubscribe. Um, another big one was actually a recent video um, I did in December where I had my family trip to San Diego. Um, I really liked that video, but I knew when I was going to post it that I would get a lot of people unsubscribing. And in that video, I got 14 people unsubscribe. So um, it it goes up and down. My Viking videos too, when I get a little kooky and I start doing Viking quotes because that's kind of that's kind of my channel. It's who I am, you know. And so I get I get people unsubscribe when I post those too. Um, if I were to give any advice, and again, I'm going to go through some more numbers, but if I give any advice to someone starting a YouTube channel and you really do want to grow your subscribers, my channel is a proof of that. You got to keep it constant, the same type of videos. And I don't remain constant on my videos. I am fully aware of that. I, I know that like I'll have a, a painting video that's going to be coming out here soon. A lot of people have asked about my paintings and what I like to do um, for paintings or what my paintings are and some of the art that I like to do. And I'm going to do a video on that. 
I'm gonna lose a lot of subscribers because I did a video on my painting. To me, it's worth it. I don't really care. Um, I mean, there's a part of me that cares because every time I log in, Google keeps telling me that I'm not doing good, <laughs> you know? Um, but I just wanted to let you know that I go up and down in subscriber count a lot in this last year I, w I went down basically um, because I changed it up this year. I've done a lot of different kind of videos. Okay, so let's go over views. Um, I would say the majority of my stuff went up, but I did see some stuff go down. Um, my views, I'm going to compare it from 2018 to 2019 in case you're interested. I went from 1.1 million to 1.5 million. Yay! Can you imagine like that many people watching you? That's crazy. How much you could reach people. Um, my watch time in hours went from 150k or 150,000 to 242,000 um, hours. That's pretty good. So you guys are watching more. I've actually launched, I think this year, a lot more longer videos. So um, they're really looking to see, you know, they're looking to see how many minutes people are on and that's how you get paid. Okay, from my traffic sources, like where are people coming from? How are they finding my channel? It's telling me that YouTube is like indexing me the same as it did in 2018 to 2019. They're not suggesting my, my YouTube channel more than they've done before. I don't know, I guess that's okay. <laughs> but that's the reason why my channel is pretty flat, I think as well, I'm not really growing that much. Um, I did go from, let's see, in 2018, I gained 9,500 subscribers. And 2019, I only gained 9,000 subscribers. So I, I am growing, it just, I'm not growing at a fast rate. I'm growing at a slow rate. I don't know why. So, I, I don't know, I don't know why. Um, the search, how do people find me? That is, this is fun, this is fun. Cause it tells me how YouTube has indexed me on their platform. So they are finding me, about 11% of the searches are the word Spirit Forest. So either someone has told people about Spirit Forest and they go on Spirit Forest, or maybe it's my Instagram where I say, go on Spirit Forest, you know, and they're typing in Spirit Forest and that's how they're, they're finding me, which I think is pretty cool, you know, for just being a small channel. And uh, the next one's living in a tent. That's like 2%, so it's not like a huge amount, but it still makes it to the top five. Uh, Viking tent, 0.9%. Um, canvas tent, 1.6%. Living in a tent full time. I, have, I never say I live in a tent full time. But this explains why I get some comments saying that I'm a fake and I don't know what I'm doing and, and um, you know, you, you go to the city a lot. It, because they're searching, living in a tent full time, they're getting my channel. as at 0.9% of people. They're getting my channel and my channel's not living in a tent full time. But they think it is because that's what they searched. So then I get people that don't like my video because they think that... I'm supposed to be living there full time. Anyways, um, who is watching? Uh, this is interesting. So this one is 66% uh, of the people watching my videos have not subscribed to my channel. 66%. So when you see me at the beginning of a video when I try to explain what my channel's about really fast, that is why. Because a lot of people are coming on but they're not following the whole journey so they don't know everything that's going on and they just come in to one video where I might be talking about something that I was doing in a previous video. Um, but 33% uh, um, of my subscribers are watching. Um, which is up from last year, which I'm very happy about. So thank you subscribers for watching my videos. Uh, the gender, this is fun, this is fun. Males went down, so uh, males have unsubscribed. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, uh, males uh, went down 8% and females went up um, 8%. So that's really cool. Power to the women! <laughs> I really, I really like that. Now this is the fun part. This is, I'm going to talk about the countries and, and uh, where people are at. You guys always love that when I do that on this. So the countries, about 69% is the USA, 7% is Canada, 
5% the UK, 2% Australia, and 1% Germany. Ah. And then do you want to know the breakdown in the US? Because you guys really like this part. The breakdown in the US is California. My memory card was full. I'm going to talk about that too. That's part of my expenses. <laughs> okay, where was I? Shoot. Oh, oh, breakdown of the US. This is the fun part. Okay, California, 2.5%, which means that it's pretty spread out. Next one down, Texas at 2.2. Colorado, 1.9. Yay, Colorado finally made the top. Florida at 1.8. New York at 1.3. Michigan, 1.2. Pennsylvania, 1%. And Illinois, 1%. Ah, uh, that's fun. I really like that. That's a, that's a lot of fun. Are you curious of what I make per video? I don't think I've ever said on my channel what I make per video because I was kind of embarrassed by it. <laughs> okay, let me give you an example of how much time it takes to do a video and what the cost is to do a video and then I'll tell you how much I make on uh, per video on average. Okay, so I wrote some stuff down again. Um, $15 a month I spend on music. I love to add music to my videos. My software, so this software that, I've been, that I'm working on here, this software right here is Premiere Pro, and I have the whole Adobe Suite. We're looking at $79 a month for that. Now, I use it for other things too. I don't just use it for Spirit Forest. Um, I am a graphic designer, so I do use it for other things, but my work actually pays for most of my other stuff. This is, the majority of this computer is being used for um, Spirit Forest, which reminds me, this is an Apple computer. Um, they aren't cheap, but they're really good for working on these kind of um, like movies and, and graphics and stuff like that. So I really like this computer. And then um, I have a camera that was donated this year. So um, again, thank you for that, John. I appreciate the camera. Um, so I do get donations. I get uh, my patrons give me a donations too. And, um, and I use those for like batteries and props and if I need more gear, like I bought some gear last year. I really did. I bought gear. I can't even remember everything I bought last year, but I bought some gear last year and I gave away some gear to some of my students too. So, um, yeah, yeah. So I use the money for that. And then um, battery, uh, did I say batteries? Like this one little battery, I have seven of these. This is a Canon um, battery for my camera. This is $44. Again, I have seven of those. What's different on my channel is that I'm always outdoors. So, and I'll be outdoors for a long period of time or I'm in a very cold climate where the batteries just die. I mean, they really do. They just die on me all, um, all the time. And um, I do have some generic ones too but um, the Canon ones work better with my camera. My camera can detect if it's generic and it gives me warnings. Uh, let's see, I do use some, I do, I do sell shirts, I'm not wearing one right now, but I do sell shirts, um, Spirit Force shirts at spiritforcebearer.com and I use a lot of that money towards um, a donation to Wilderness on Wheels, which is the charity that I feature on my channel. So that gives you kind of an idea of all the cost and stuff. And you know, there's a lot more stuff involved. I got gas and I'm going out there. I got more camera equipment than just one. You know, I got a lot more stuff. And this last year I bought some new camera equipment too. Um, so how much do I make per video? You wanna guess? I make on average about $20 a video. About $20 a video. Um, it, I can't, I don't know how many hours it takes to do the videos. Again, this is a, a labor of love. <laughs> you gotta love what you do, you know? So at $20 a, a video, I'm not paying my bills, you know? Um, I do have a full-time job. I work 7.30 to 5 every day, Monday through Friday, sitting at this desk. Um, those are these computers over here on this side. So I, uh, I have a full-time job. Yeah, this is, this is fun. This is, um, it takes me, well, see, the first year I told myself I was only gonna take 30 minutes per video and then I was just gonna publish it. No matter what it was, I was just gonna publish it 30 minutes a video. I'm a busy person. 
So this last year in 2019, um, I have I have done a little bit more work on my editing. I don't know if you guys noticed that or not, but I've done a little bit more work in my editing. Uh, my uh, my views have gone up, so that that's telling me possibly I'm doing okay. You know. Um, my subscriptions kind of went up compared to the other years didn't go up as much but I did spend some more time on my videos I would say lately I've been spending between 45 minutes and an hour per video to edit the longer ones the hour videos probably take me three to four hours to edit possibly because I have to watch the whole video too and uh, so it's a lot of time. Again, what I say, a labor of love. <laughs> this is a labor of love. You gotta truly love what you do. And uh, I, I want to thank everyone for watching. I I do appreciate it. You know, it, it does, it's, it's fun for me to do this. It's fun to take you on my adventures with me. I feel like you're with me. You know, instead of, because I'm always doing all this stuff by myself, and I feel like my subscribers are with me when I look in the camera right now, like I know some of you, you know, it's like I'm thinking of you when I'm filming this, because I know you're going to watch it. So I want to thank you so much for all of my subscribers out there. Let's get some more <laughs> so I can get all those extra benefits of YouTube. Uh, that's okay. You know, my, my whole... But my whole goal is to be able to meet some new people, meet some great people, and you know, if I happen to make some money, some money in the process uh, to help me do this um, adventure of mine, that's great. But um, for the most part, I, I do this for fun, and uh, I appreciate all of you watching. So I'm gonna let you go now, and I will see you on my next video. Bye bye.